What's good, my Jujutsu Kaisen manga heads? We're finally back with that JJK. It's been a minute. We was on break last week. God damn it. But we're here. Shout out Big Bro Chozo. He did his thing. He forced Kenjaku into doing a curse technique that was different from anything that we've seen him do, whether it was, you know, curse manipulation, anything else, right? So he passed the test. Chozo is still undefeated. Technically, that was a W. He's still undefeated in my book. 3-0, and right? Um, and Yuki pulled up at the end of the chapter as she was supposed to. So the plan is going according to plan. You know, everything is, is working, right? Um, and I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video, but like, well, before that, I know a lot of people were talk, saying like, what is his, his curse technique? What is that curse technique? Is it like, is he using like gravity, some kind of gravity thing? And I was like, yeah, that seems about right. But I don't know if I mentioned it in my last video or... I thought about it afterwards. I don't remember, but I do know that I thought about this. I was like, it really reminded me of Gojo's Infinity. Like, you know, the, the infinite space around him, you can't fucking touch him because it's a, basically like a barrier. And the more you go and punch him or try to attack him, it's gonna go slower and slower until it's basically nothing there, right? So um, that's what I was thinking. Like, is his, like, is that curse technique similar to Gojo's? Like, how would that even work? Did he steal something from him? I don't even know if that would even work either. I don't know, but it really did remind me of it because he completely nullified Chozo's attack. So I don't know. But I'm excited to get to his next chapter. It looks like we're going to have a special grade versus special grade battle, unless somebody dips out, which Kenjaku probably will. I don't know. But that'll be the first time since Ghetto versus uh, uh, um, Yuta, right? So... Let's just get into this next chapter, man. 205 of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. Let's get straight into it. Sukumo. Nice fight. Now leave the rest to me. Mm hmm. Special grade. Sukumo tags in. To Chozo tags out. Now, it's not called Blood and Oil no more. It's called Star and Oil. And that, that boy Chozo passed out. Hey, man. You did your thing. You did your thing. <laughs> All right. Okay. So he's falling like into like a. a it seems like he's. I think he falling like into a good good space not nothing crazy looks like he'll be saved he fell asleep though <laughs> my type is a hard-working muddy guy <laughs> you though oh so she said like, i fuck with chozo you know what i'm saying hard-working muddy guy you know he's doing his thing he's trying to get out the mud feel me he said but you though hell no i have to beat you up oh shit you see the veins in her arm god damn she's not playing until you're the same sukumo yuki until you're the same, Sukumo Yuki. Since they gave her the special grade designation, the administration should have information on her curse technique. Right? But despite that, I haven't been able to get it from them. Mm, interesting. That is that Kenjaku talking about that? So if he don't know her shit, then yeah, it's gonna, it looks kind of bad on his end. I ain't gonna lie. Keep your distance. Thank you. What the fuck is going on? That curse spirit is imported, right? A curse from an Asian god that can remove any obstacles. Okay. Interesting. Yes, a special grade spirit, one that can entangle a concept with his technique's target. Interesting. Please show me what you can do. Garuda. Interesting. What the fuck did she just do? So she bought up her... her her uh, little cursed thing. Oh, she, she used that like a goddamn soccer ball. God damn. Okay. Damn. That panel though. Whoa. Did she, she fucked that thing up. God damn. Okay, that was crazy. Hold on. Oh, I gotta, I gotta zoom in a little bit. I gotta see all this. Are you afraid to cl to get close because you don't know my technique? Guess I'll just tell you. It's mass. Oh, okay. Huh. <clears throat> so she she said, I'm I'm confident enough. I'll just tell you what the fuck it is. I don't know if you can you can't even really combat against it. So it's it's mass. Her curse technique is mass. So she'll make anything have that's kind of crazy. Especially if you're a special grade, I'm assuming she can make things as heavy as possible. Like that's kind of dangerous. Like imagine, right? Like imagine she can like, like, what are the limits to it? That's what the one thing I want to know. Because if that's the case, can't she probably, like, make, like, a, like, say, like, a bullet? Say she, like, manipulated, like, a bullet, right? And she made it into, like, or, like, say she shot a bullet with her, with her hand or some shit. 
and she made the bullet like tons, way tons. So it's going fast, and the, nah, that'll be nah, 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 hell no. Oh my gosh, she punched the shit out of him. Jesus, damn, <laughs> skipped him like a rock. That boy is god damn. What the? F he fell straight through the shit. Oh my god, it's right through. That hit me so hard it tore a hole in the sun the the sunyata barrier circular definition. Yeah, what the fuck? Mad so he she broke his goddamn arm. God damn. He said mass, huh? That's the techniques that's that's the techniques target concept. Such overwhelming mass to a point that its concept couldn't be contained sim sem 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 semantic wait semantically or fragmentically. See end of chapter notes, okay? Yep, that's my curse technique. Imbuing virtual mass into myself. Bombaye. What the fuck? It seemed like she could... Yeah, yeah. He said overwhelming mass to a point that his concept couldn't be contained semantically or fra or prag pragmat pragmatically. Prag... I'm gonna search that up. Pragmatically. Okay, I just gotta make sure. In a sensible and realistic way that is based on practical rather than theoretical considerations. Okay. Hmm. So it's like, it's like definite. It's like a fact. Like it, it's, it's a concept that's pretty straightforward and, and it, there's nothing about it that's like exaggerated, if that makes sense. Like, it may seem like an overwhelming thing, ability, but it's like, mass, boom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Goddamn water bottle, sit your ass down. Anyway, let's, let's keep on going. Whew, okay, so she hasn't gotten any slower, so can I assume the added mass has no real affection, uh, on, effect on the sorcerer? Mm, that is kind of crazy, unless she has trained herself t to the point where she can like with that uh ability that she can pretty much like she's just used to, her body's used to it to the point where it's like it's not even it's like gravity say we're like used to like the moon's gravity or something else like completely used to it or some i don't know think like dragon ball for example you know when they're in the gravity shit and they get like used to it they get so strong to the point where they're able to move around something similar to that in a way since she can ignore concepts and none of the high grade curse spirits I have left after Shibuya are usable. And just by myself, is it even possible to hunt this wild beast? God damn. He said, nah, she's kind of different. In terms of her strength, like I cannot go, I cannot go blow to blow with her. I can't do shit right now. I don't got the curse. Uh, he, he said he doesn't have any curse spirits that's really usable in this case anyways. So I don't know. But why is he looking like that? Well, he did regenerate himself, though, so we do got that. Okay. It's gravity. That was gravity. Okay, so his shit was gravity. All right, bet. That's crazy. So hers is mass and his is gravity. Oh, shit. That, nah, that is, okay, that's kind of wild. I can't even imagine what kind of fight this would be if they actually do, like, keep on fighting. I don't know. What the fuck? Kenjaku has some other curse technique besides curse spirit manipulation and the body hopping technique. Right. And that must be gravity. The curse uh, techniques extracted by Uzumaki have to be single use only since he didn't use idle transfiguration. That has already been revealed to me. Considering, considering that Kenjaku can use reverse curse technique, it's unlikely he'd waste a single use technique on such a situation. Huh. So Kenjaku's third curse technique must be gravity. So she's saying it must be gravity, which I think a lot of people would think as well. But the fact that she's so insistent on it, or she's like, that's the only conclusion that she could come up with. I'm starting to feel like it ain't even that. Even if it is that, it's still crazy, but I almost feel like it's not even that. <laughs> he could have collected more curse techniques extracted by Uzumaki, but that's unlikely. Hmm. If you don't have an external storage mechanism like a Kotsukun, you'll overload your brain's you'll overload your brain's memory. But let's assume he has a fourth curse technique in the worst case. I like that she at least thinking of that. Because if it's not even gravity, then okay, then she will know it will. It's something else. Even if 
she counted gravity and is not being at least she is accounting for something completely different which i'm also accounting that the third technique might not even be gravity but who knows considering the jutsu text definition of special grades tsukumo yuki might have might have an extension technique with high curse energy output as her trump card that's crazy they're both for this is cool seeing two special grades both thinking about each other's abilities and what they have up their sleeve that just goes to show how much experience how how much they are experts at being jujutsu sorcerers because it's like they're both thinking it's like a chess match they're both thinking like okay she might have this up her sleeve he might have that up her sleeve uh, up his sleeve i think his third technique is gravity but i'm not sure she might have something else other than mass because if she's a special grade then i wouldn't be surprised if she has something else just like i have multiple abilities too with the the uh with the brain hopping mind hopping and the uh uh curse manipulation and whatnot what a pain they see they both are like god damn this is gonna end in a stalemate because they they both of them can't get an upper hand on each other and that's that's actually hella clean to be honest that, that's pretty clean According to the plan, I'll get Kenjaku to expand his domain. Next, I'll back him into a corner until the after effect of domain expansion takes hold and he enters a state in which it's hard to use curse techniques. Interesting. Huh. All right. Even if I'm in the same state, I still have Garuda so I can win. To get this plan to work, I'll have to chip away at Kenjaku, reducing the intensity of his domain as much as possible. No, no. Our curse techniques aren't suited for fighting each other, but you still haven't expanded a domain. You're practically confessing that you don't have faith in your ability to win a domain battle. And he's about to do a domain expansion. Oh my God, domain expansion. All enveloping garb, but dot, garb, hot, hot, hot to. Now's the time, Tengen. Oh, ten, that was Tengen that said? Wait, 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 wait. Was that, wait, wait. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, shit. Will I make it in time? Kenjaku quickly expands his domain. What are these two planning? Right. Because Kenjaku is doing his domain. And then Tengen's little uh glass popped up in the end and doing some boy, doing some crazy tree. That is a tree of like souls. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> All right. So, okay. So they did say something about the... Uh, end of chapter notes so should i read everything or should i just um okay so it's the sunyata's emptiness and its basic meaning instead of its derivatives and mm -hmm. the basic meaning should lie in philosophy and more specifically in mahayana buddhism all derivative meanings of sunyata should share this basic understanding borrowing western uh uh da, 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 da. Uh, philosophical terminology, sunyata, emptiness can be understood in three ways. In essence, substance, and phenomenon. So they talking about the bar the whole barrier, right? Isn't that what uh, Kenjaku called it? Okay. So there's something else that I wanted to see, though. Um, It's a lot of shit here. Tengen's, okay. He's basically explaining Tengen's barrier. It's, yeah, that shit's, that structure is crazy. Yeah, it's a lot of shit they got here. What the hell? Okay, virtual mass, where an object behaves as if it has one mass, but it actually has a different mass. That roughly mirrors the behavior of Yuki's technique. She and her Shikigami interact with the world as if they have an effective mass difference from their real mass. Interesting. The phenomenon is surprisingly common given the right context. Computing motion in a vacuum is easy, but when an object moves through fluid or, charge, or a charged particle moves through a metal, you have to consider the force exerted on it by a wood it displaces or by its interactions with the surrounding material imaginary mass uh, misleading because it's established physics concept for a mass that becomes negative when squared however the established translation for that concept so it seems unlikely that the the, 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 and the raw text is referring to perhaps akutami since they wasn't thinking about physics at all though given what we know virtual seems still seems a more accurate objective Adju that's adjective adjective <laughs> something that is imagery is, is something that is imaginary does not exist at all something that is virtual is not truly real but it behaves as if it exists both yuki's technique and gojo's purple have a presence in the real world that makes them virtual rather than imaginary interesting okay that's why i was a little confused because i was like okay so if you're talking about something that's pragmatic it means it's like real so 
and they said what they say that they say sem sem uh, semantic as well let me look at semantic definition real quick i know i'm doing this on video <laughs> relating in a way okay semantic meaning and language or logic so yeah about logic so that's interesting that Signs and sentence structure, I mean, hmm. interpretations, okay. God, it's a lot of shit here. Boy, I gotta, I can't really source her in the series because like she can, you know what I'm saying? Like she puts mass into any, she could put any, like an ex, I don't, I can't even explain it. I can't even imagine this shit. Her and Gojo, like, I mean, well, Gojo is more about like cursed energy, like unlimited energy, you know, output, you know, all that, the OP shit, right? You took pretty much the same thing. Kenjaku is more about like, I think he's pretty well versed, but he's, uh, I would say, I guess charismatic when it comes to any of his techniques because of his curse energy. But her is like, she's just like power for power. Like, it, like she would probably be the best boxer in this goddamn series. Like, and I love it. I love hand to hand combat. So, that's fucking insane. Anyway, that's all I got. I don't want to make this video too long, man. Let me know down below if you can clear up anything that I said that was wrong or or just say anything down below in the comments that to explain her ability or explain Kenjaku, what he was about to do or tank, you know, anything, right? So let me know down below. Um, I'll always comment back to you guys. You guys know. So yeah, see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned. I we'll have more content coming out as the time goes by. You guys will see it. So happy holidays. Hope you guys have a good one. Peace.